Good Wednesday, everyone. I hope your week is going well, and we're almost halfway through, right? So looking at our weather map for today, we see a chance for showers to our west and a chance of showers to our east. That sounds like a little bit of a repeat from yesterday, right? So same story, just different day. Could have a couple of showers sneak in from the west or sneak in from the east. So I left that 10% chance in there once again today. Yesterday we saw a couple of those showers sneak onto the plateau. Nothing too heavy. I think I had 0 .07 inches here at home. So just enough to kind of dampen the leaves on the trees. So we see more showers across the rest of the country. Just kind of an unsettled August day. This is kind of a, a different pattern for the middle of August. Normally much of the country sandwiched under a big hot area of high pressure and everyone's just baking in the August heat. But not this year, that is for sure. Much of the country covered in clouds and some shower chances and got a flash flood risk across southern Mississippi, got another risk area across the Colorado, New Mexico border, and then again across the US, New Me US Mexico border of New Mexico and Arizona. So all kinds of activity across the country, but no widespread severe weather to speak of. And checking out our five day outlook, there's no widespread severe weather to speak of in our outlook either. We do see an increase in showers and thunderstorms as we get closer to the weekend, but today and tomorrow are now looking good. You know, models have always trended drier with today and tomorrow. They've always been trending a little bit wetter with Friday, so don't be surprised if I have to raise rain chances on Friday to 50, 60 percent or so. But uh, and then Saturday was trending a little drier with this morning's model run, so I, that'll be interesting. I may have to drop those rain chances down to 30 percent or so on Saturday, but right now I'm only at 50 because we're 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 too close to all the other action. And then Sunday, 50 percent once again. So at least not a big washout. Nothing to cancel your outdoor plans over over the weekend. Um, I would certainly keep those in check, but just know that you need an indoor plan. You know if you've got something that you've got planned for outside so always have that indoor backup plan ready just in case because 50 percent is still 50 percent you know that's not a guarantee of a, of a pretty day but certainly many of us should stay on the on the better side of things and it's a cool day across the country those clouds and showers i showed you on the other map that keeps things that keeps temperatures you know at or below normal so you'll see that big swath of blue across the middle of the country look at highs around 80 in oklahoma this time of the year they're normally like up around 100 and we we're up around in the 90s this time of the year and maybe not so much here on the plateau but especially around nashville and memphis and memphis is 78 today so this is a this is definitely a cooler day. The nation's high temperature will be 107 around 117. You see that around Death Valley, California, and then the nation's low high temperature will be 43 in parts of Colorado where you see that blue star there. So so a pretty chilly day across much of the country. There are some warmer spots, but man, it's a this is a chilly August day for sure for much of the country. So but well, I guess we'll take it right because it could be much much hotter. <laughs> Well, you folks have a wonderful day and keep looking. For even more weather information, keep reading along in the blog, meteorologistmark.com.